last, Ben, uh, about the, the emergence of this idea of, of a documentary about Kuru and, and Michael's work. What sparked that? Well, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it sparked, I guess, from a, a selfish point of view um, of uh, when Michael was, was retiring and I was talking to a friend of mine up there and we were talking about um, exploring the jungles of PNG and how we both you know, were passionate about that. And Michael's exploratory walk back in 1962 came up and we kind of had this idea that we would reenact that walk as, from, from me, just a personal reason to get back there and actually you know, continue to have an association with PNG. Because you had quite deep roots yourself. Absolutely, right? it's, it's under my skin, I guess. You know, I, I feel very comfortable up there. It's, it's like home to me, really. I have, you know, it, I often try and understand why you know Aboriginal people in Australia have that sense of country and that sense of place, and and definitely my sense of country and place is in the Highlands of PNG. It's, there's no doubt about that, and I've made references to even just the ground and the, and the mud up there. How you know it's you know that's part of my blood in a way. So, so that, that was back in two. That was back in 2000. 2000. Yeah, when Michael was retiring. So, you know, and this, we, we talked about that idea of reenacting this walk that Michael did where they discovered a volcano along the way. And um, then we thought, well, we could tell the story of Kuru uh, along the way as a sort of part of the story of the, of the walk. And it sort, of, it sort of stopped there. And when I came back to Australia, I mentioned this to Rob. You know, because he's... What was your connection with Rob at that time? Rob, Rob, Rob's a, a friend, a very good friend, and obviously he's, he was studying film and in the film industry at that time, so he was the first point of call, really, in terms of maybe where, where can we take this idea. Mm. So I threw this at Rob and, you know, mentioned Kuru, and, mm. and, uh, and then Rob sort of took that mm. on himself to explore Kuru, which he knew nothing about. Mm. For me, it was interesting because I, I didn't know much about it either as well, you know, it was, I grew, grew up with it, but I didn't really know much about it in many ways. I've learned about Kuru on this journey of making the documentary. Um, so that's kind of where it started. That was where the idea came, and then Rob obviously picked it up and ran with it, which was uh, a great benefit to me. 